Matt from Fanatics here, and I got a new t-shirt for you. Actually, a new old t-shirt. I haven't worn it in a while. thought you guys would get a kick out of my Peace Love Dog shirt. But, let's get to the fish. Today we have actually an absurd amount of fish to go through, and I'm going to try to be quick because I'm short on time. So, with no further ado, we have a bag of crabs. Got a whole batch of fiddler crabs to start our day. Next up we have these are African cichlids. Those are these. Well, um, I'll have to look on the invoice to see which ones these are. These are not the ones I was expecting, so I have to take a look at that one. Next up we have more African cichlids. Did a big restock on Malawians this week, so you're going to see a lot of African cichlids come out of the bag. Doing restocking after we blew out everything from the moving sale. Those are Kenyais, inexpensive, nice African cichlid from Malawi. Uh, next up, we have angels. Let's see, these were the red-headed diamond angels. Paid a little extras for these guys. Super cool looking. They're not McCoys. They just got the red head without the black spots. Nice looking angel. I'm trying to get you guys some fun, different types of angels. There's oh, um, one of my favorite dwarf cichlids. This is a Curvisup cichlid. My late wife used to call these little blimpy fish. Uh, I get about three inches, maybe just slightly bigger, fairly round in face. Give me a card room. I call them my Curvisups. Nice, inexpensive dwarf cichlid. Next up we have, oh, these are swordtail. Guppies. These are the blue sword tails, the Japanese blue sword tails, depending on who you call them something. On the small side, I believe those are probably split to uh, Embler. That's why they are so small. Super cool, fancy guppy. This guy, apparently they put an extra protection on this. Let's see why. Let's see what we got. Some kind of shrimp. Bloody Marys. Got Bloody Marys by accident a couple of weeks ago, and they were so popular, I went ahead and grabbed a whole nother batch. Bloody Marys for you. They might be a little tiny bit more expensive than the last group, but uh, there you go. Next we have, are supposed to be blood fins. Kind of like glass blood fins to me. Let's see what they color up. And these are blood fin tetras. Those were somebody requested those. And then more shrimp. We have another batch of Amano shrimp. So I have two batches of Amano shrimp. I got them from two different suppliers because we're completely out. And I want to make sure we didn't get zero this week. Uh, next thing out of the box, I've got meadows. Some reds, some blues, some reds, some blues. So pretty standard colors on these, but these are the inexpensive $3 veil dentists. The last thing in this box is Panacores. So you can see those well. Panacores have been flying out of here. So I figured we'd better not run out. Got another nice batch of Panacores. And that's it for box number one know how many boxes we have in this week, but it's a lot. Here we go with box number two. This is one of my occasional suppliers. We got some crabs and some lobsters. This is a yellow leg twitty crab. Super cool little dude. These guys get about four inches across a carapace. They're a true freshwater aquatic crab. Uh, most of the crabs you'll find in the industry, like the fiddler crabs, are semi-aquatic, but those guys can actually be fully aquatic. They will eat fish, so they'll probably want to do them in a species too. Oh, super cool. These are blue rabbit snails. That's why I picked up the supplier in general, is they got some great snails. Uh, blue rabbits, we had those one time a while back. Just got another batch of those guys. Super excited about that. Uh, more rabbits. These are the golden rabbits. Good looking batch of these guys. Brighter gold than the last ones I've got, I think. It looks like there's a little bit of variety in there. Not a big surprise. And I think 
I'm going to batch of rabbits and see if I can find them. I'll do these instead. These are, they bag these sometimes like a saltwater. These are a type of nearite. These are yellow racers. Sometimes we'll get these in with the red racers when we get them. We got a yellow and a red stripe to them. Super cool. Little higher end nearites. Nearite snails, of course, are a brackish water breeding snail. Very good for a freshwater tank so that they don't uh, lay babies. Uh, picked up some black mystery snails just because I could. Always like to have a good variety of different colors on mysteries. Tiger lobster. Oh, dude, this is so cool. Check this guy out. You can get a good video on him. This is in the Turex family, I believe. Yeah, Turex, which are the uh, bigger lobsters. I believe they either come out of New Guinea or out of Australia. Super beautiful critter. A little more spendy than your electric blues. These are uh, disco vampire crabs. Looks like some of them made the trip, some of them did it. Like these guys, they're a semi-aquatic crab, a lot of fun to keep in a terrarium or vivarium or polydarium or some kind of arium. They don't ship well, that's why I don't get them that often. Uh, these are another type. It looks like these guys did better. They didn't ship in quite so much water. These are orange and black vampires. They turned out pretty good. We've had the mandarins in. I haven't had the orange and black before. I like those little crabs. I'm just gonna figure out where to put them. Uh, more snails. We get yellow spot rabbit snails. I had these ones before too. These came in smaller than the last ones I had. Some of them are bigger. A little variety in sizes. They're a brown body with yellow spots on them. Super gorgeous snail. And let's see. Nearite red racers. More nearites. So we can get a good look at those. Just got more of the yellow stripe on them might be somewhere on the yellow racer and the red racer and I'm okay with that because whenever I get a chance to order those in I double up. Uh, super cool near I a little more sensitive than some of your more common ones. They're really pretty. That's it for this box. Snails and crabs and lobsters. Alrighty box number three. I don't know if I'm going fast enough. We gotta get these all done. Barry's giving me the circling finger, like, go, go, go. All right, I'll go faster. We have silver dollars. Small silver dollars. Mostly look pretty good. All right, next up we have, these are shell dwellers. Uh, heck, we, I haven't actually had these guys before. A different looking little guy. So you can see him through the, the privacy bag. Kind of a cool looking guy, kind of similar to the Brevis without the stripes. Got a good price point on him, I thought. What the heck, let's give him a try. I like shell dwellers. Next up we have Aryan Red Rainbow Fish. Pretty good. Awful silver, I'm not seeing a lot of reds in there. Hopefully the, we got some boys that will red up after we give them land. Price point was good on those guys, so hopefully we got some males. size. Look how big you guys are. Green spotted puffers are notorious for not shipping well, especially when they ship them all together like this. So they nip each other up. So it'll take a few days to get these guys cleaned up, make sure they're healthy before we release them for sale. And that's it for this box. All right, here we go with box number four. I think this is halfway. Four and four, that's eight. Oh my gosh. Somebody went absolutely bug nuts on fish today. No idea who. Let's see. Ooh, these are quarries. Red Venezuelan quarries or sailfin Venezuelans. I love it when I can get these guys. Super cool quarry. I was tempted to buy like a huge batch of them because I can only get them from a couple of my sometimes vendors. But uh, I just got the dozen, so pick yours up. Uh, Buenos Aires Tetra is usually a very easy to find common Tetra. I've been really hard to find recently, so picked up a dozen of those guys. Black bag. Let's see what's inside. All right, what are you? This is blue tetras. Only got about a dozen of these guys too. Look pretty good. 
very silvery here, but they got that nice lavendery, bluey sheen to them. I'm a big fan of that Tetra. Buddy in the water. All right, let's get the other half of this box. Ooh, these are loaches. These are the tiger loaches. We've got a couple of these guys that are about three times this size. That were awful lonely, so we got them in another group. Green tiger loach. Super cool, kind of aggressive loach. So. Uh, got some more silver dollars. These are the black bar silver dollars. Oh, they look pretty good too. Small, but they'll grow. These are not quite as big as the red hooks, but they're a nice big silver dollar. Cichlid. Got a good price on these guys. So I went ahead and picked up a batch of these are Epistogramma Panduro. One of them didn't make the trip, but overall, they're looking pretty good. We'll get those tanked. And the last bag we have, oh my gosh, these are tiny. So these are Royal Farwella babies. I've gotten small ones before, but I've never gotten them quite this small. They're cute. Real far wheels get over a foot. Nice filament uh, tails on them, nice liar tail, and uh, spinnerets on the top fin. It's a super cool far well of fish. And that's it for box number four. All right, here we go with box number five. And first thing out of the box, we have Respora Hits. Harlequin Rasporas, these are the standard guys, not the narrow edge. Got both narrow edge and standard now, though I'm getting a little low on the narrows. Next thing up, we have Blue Cobalt Goby. Got the ornate gobies in the uh, last box. These are, oh, I can't remember the scientific. These are not Atropurses. They're the other one. Other blue Stipidon Goby. Super cool, though. Uh, next, we got an L number. This is uh, Broken Line. Pleco, or Royal Pleco, L191. Just sold out my other guy. This guy's on the smaller side, probably half the size of the last one I got. But nice looking guy, nice looking patterns. Uh, Red Hick Silver Dollars. Stocked up on Silver Dollars this week because I was completely out. So now we got Red Hooks there, we got some Black Bars, and we got some of the standard Silver Dollars. Next thing is Arowana Tetras. And one of them didn't make the trip, but two of them didn't make the trip. Have a cool looking little fish. Somebody had asked me about these, did a little research. They're kind of a genus unto themselves. Interesting, unusual little tetra. Uh, next guy we have is Blue Dolphin. Uh, African Sickle Dog. The Mori I still call those. Uh, stumbling on myself. Anyway, we call them a blue dolphin. Nice big African sickle. Those guys would get a foot. Big hump on their head. When they're little like that, you gotta protect them because they're still pretty juvenile compared to other Mori's of the same size. And these guys here, we have Crabbo. This is a trophy is Crabbo, or they'll call them a bumblebee cichlid. Super cool again, Malawi. I told you we were going to stock up, and we're going to have a lot of those in this next box or two. Uh, totally different note. These are Threadfin Rainbows. Nice and big on these again. I was crossing my fingers they'd come in nice like the last batch, and they did. So super cool, super happy with those guys. And that's it for box five. Box number six. What the heck am I doing buying six boxes of fish? Oh, but there's more. First thing out of box six is glass cats. We've got a few left in the last batch, but they got some kind of weird stuff on them. We're trying to treat them and get them better. In the tricks in between, we got a much nicer batch of glass catfish. Super cool, fun community fish. They do get on the larger side, so remember to have enough space for them. Uh, oh, wow. That's promising Barry that these next boxes would be just restock stuff, but I lied. This is a super cool pike. Uh, Adadapo Pike Cichlid. They're really bright red when they're colored up. I've uh, never had one of these guys in the store before. We had some of those freckled faces a while back, but uh, this is a super cool pike. Uh, moderately expensive, not a, one of those stupid expensive pikes. 
let's see. Pseudotropius Sal Sablosi. These are not the electric yellows, but they're one of those barred yellow guys. They'll get uh, dimorphic as they get bigger, if I remember right. Uh, clown knife, itty bitty guy. Sold out of clown knives last week, so we restocked. Of course, anything under a foot is an itty bitty guy, but this guy's still pretty juvenile. Got his stripes still instead of his spots. Super cool. Uh, South American bumblebee buffers. Nice big batch of these guys. This is another restock. They must be in season right now. These are bigger than the last batch, though, but they'll be the same price. Super cool. something something Aratus or Aratus cichlid these are your nice striped guys another inexpensive uh, Malawian cichlid blue rams sold out of these guys still got some golds from the last batch got in a new batch of blues for you not particularly large we'll see how they color up I'm sure they'll color up nice that source always has nice blue rams I didn't order this. <laughs> These are Bucktooth Tetras. I'm not sure what what I checked or which box got hit, but this isn't something I actually ordered. Bucktooths are kind of cool, though. Uh, they're the Exodon Tetra or our Bucktooth. Very aggressive, larger Tetra. Uh, these are Pellegrinis. Pellegrinis are a type of earth eater. One of the more aggressive earth eaters, and they get pretty good size. Itty bitty babies like these won't be aggressive, obviously. You'll have to protect them for a little while, but uh, super cool earth eater. And that's it for this box. All right, here we go. Box number seven. We may be here till midnight putting away fish. This is Cory's. Oh, sweet. Green laser Cory's. We got some orange lasers now we got the green lasers too on the spindy side but that is a super cool quarry got a couple of really nice quarries on this order uh let's see some marble sailfin fleckles on the small side but on the good side they're real inexpensive they get about a foot nice pleco next is johanna is another south american cichlid South American, <laughs> African cichlid. These are the Malawians. Jahanis have the boys, at the stripes, and the girls that are all bright yellow. Uh, next we have Dimenagomus compressus. I get the I get the genus wrong, but anyway, these are what they call the Malawian eye biters. Somebody's asked me about these the other day. We only had one. Now we have six. Next up we have. Uh, Red Fin Borelli, another Malawian. I carry these most of the time. They've got the nice rusty fins on them. They get real pretty as they get bigger. Beautiful fish. And these are the rusty cichlids. Haven't had these in them quite a while. Not getting about restocking on Malawians. I've got a bunch of them that we normally have and some that I've not had in a long time. Uh, this, however, is not a Malawian. These are a mono shrimp. Second bag of a mono shrimp today. Like I said, we doubled up the order to make sure we didn't run out. So we will have plenty of amanos for you. I like these. These are Labdachromus hongis. Huge fan of these guys. Super cool. Wow, and cichlid again. Alrighty, last bag for this box. Finally, uh, Nimbachromus livingstoni. We like to call those the camo dudes. Another larger Malawian. Got them on a good price. We're going to have so many Malawians you won't know what hit you. Alrighty, last box. Here we go. I'm thinking of a song like from Golden Earring. About a radar gun. There it is. Big bag. Flagtail porthole cats. I haven't had these in a while. I really love these guys. I think I got a pretty decent price on them. Pretty excited to have them. Nice, big, mellow catfish. Not quite a quarry, but close enough. And, gotta have these guys. This is an L18 
gold nugget pleco. Let's see if we can get a good picture of him. Love our gold nuggets, love our plecos. We selling out of those every week, so there we go for you. Oh, I love you guys. These are another cool Cory. These are Corydoris Robinae, or the flag tail Corys. Slowly selling down on the group that I have, so I had to add more friends for them. And let's see. Oh, don't get these that often. These are a fun rainbow. They're called Madagascar Rainbow. Obviously from Madagascar. A little more cigar shaped than most of your rainbows. Cool fish though. And let's see. Snow White Sucolify. Another Malawian cichlid. Say we don't have much in in Africans as of today. Uh, wrestling half beaks, tannic water, I like that. You see them in there? They'll hang up at the top of the water column. I have not been able to get half beaks in months, so I was happy to jump on getting those guys. Great little nano fish, kind of aggressive though. You got to watch them. Uh, another. Sailfin Pleco. This is the spotted variety of the Sailfin Pleco. A little different L number on those guys. Like my Sailfin Plecos. Remember, get them out of foot. Uh, Marginatus Pencil. These are the dwarf pencils. Just sold out of those guys. I like pencil fish. Got uh, four or five varieties of pencils in right now. And last out of this box, and last of the order, last of all the orders, we have a big bag of Autosynculus. Like I sell out of autos every week, so we got a nice extra batch of those this week. Hopefully, I have enough to get through the weekend. And that's it for today, guys. Got a few things in this week. Private party that I want to share with you guys. Got this big red Oscar here, who's all cleaned up and ready for a home. We're gonna ask just 20 bucks for this big guy. He's got quite a bit of personality. Here's another great find from this week. This is a giant angel. Guy. We usually charge just 18 bucks on large angels, and he's no exception. There's a couple of other one-off fish we'll get sorted out of. There's a large rainbow shark hiding under here somewhere, too. I think it's one of the albino versions. Uh, we'll get that sorted out. Check them out. So, somebody bring me a group of bikers back. They decided to give up on their voluptuous collection, including this big fella here. He's a giant Nile biker. He's probably about three times bigger than when I sold him. He's still 120 bucks, so super cool dude. There's another eyeball sticking out here. I think that's the Weeksy. He had a Weeksy also. Those guys run 50 bucks. And there's a reticulated in here somewhere too. He's a really bright green one. Super nice group. Those guys run $100. So good time to pick up extra grown out bikers for regular retail price. The guy here in town has been growing these guys up. Got kind of a skip bar pattern to some silver angels. Nice, nice fish and a really good size. I think he said the ones he's got at home are even bigger than these guys now. We have him on for the $10 medium price, but he's got so many he needs to find a home for. We'll put these guys on sale. Go down to the $7 small price on these guys. Pick up a group. Let me know if you want more than a couple three we have. I'll make a phone call and get you a big group of Something you don't see in a tank every day. This is a great big koi somebody brought me. He's bigger than our nine inches we were selling for 40 bucks during the pond season, and he's all acclimated to warm water. We're just going to ask 20 bucks for this big guy, get him into the tank that's big enough for him. We got him in a 90 right now, which is, I guess it's all right, but he needs needs a big home, this guy. But it's the wrong time of year to put him outside. So if you've got a stock pond inside or big tank you want to try this fella in take him home for just 20 bucks these are captive bred tank raised stir bay quarries and somebody up in yakima that's been raising these guys up for me super nice fish anyway and then nice locally bred wonderful fish good size on them nice and fat and happy and one of my favorite quarries anyway stir bays are a nice warm water quarry we have them on there for just seven bucks, which is stupid cheap for a stir bay quarry. Another local bred gym, these are Hercules snails. The parents were white Hercules snails. They turned out kind of a beige color. They're not quite white like the parents were, though. Maybe they'll get a little lighter as time goes on. The 
natural color for Hercules snails is a brown chocolatey color, not quite as dark as that. Uh, these are juveniles, they're one of the larger snails, bigger even than a rabbit snail. Uh, we're going just five bucks on these guys. Hercules juvenile snail, super cool snail. And lastly, we have an awesome batch of neocridnas. These are, the, of course, the blue neos, or blue velvet, or blue dream, however you want to call them. We've got a local source for these, a couple of local sources this batch came. Somebody's been breeding some really dark ones. We also got a bunch of our own babies in there too, so we're getting pretty big. Been real great luck raising shrimp here at Fanatics recently. We got oranges, blues, reds, and a few others up and coming. Well, that's everything for this week, guys. A huge order, lots and lots of fish to look at. I hope you enjoyed the video. I won't spend much more time waxing on about it, but we do have some updates. I got back information from the city about our permits. It looks like we got a little list of things that we need to correct on our application. Hopefully we'll hear back from that pretty soon. I guess they have the option to hold us out another two weeks, but we're hoping that we can just slip a, a note about what we need to fix and get going right away. The permits will mean we get started on construction, which means we might actually get into our new space, hopefully by the end of the year. Looking forward to seeing you there.